Ooh, right, we're back. Sorry guys, just trying to warm up my hands a bit. So it's cold outside. It is very cold outside. That is very loud in my ear. Gosh, let's uh, try and sort that volume out. But yeah, we're back. Playing some more Pokemon. We took a break yesterday, played some FIFA instead. Like I say, I'm trying to keep on top of FIFA and Pokemon right now. So... We obviously, in the last episode or in the last live stream that we did, we acquired the rock type gym badge, which you can see in the upper part of the sort of gym. I don't know what that is, the gym ring that we that we've got there. Um, yeah, we beat. Uh, I forget his name, but whoever it was, uh, ah, I've forgotten his name now. I've forgotten the name of the gym leader for the for the. Uh, rock type gym but we beat them and let's just give you a quick update on where we are with our pokemon we've got dreadnought level 44 Golossal level 44 rillaboom at level 44 corvinite level 44 seeing a common theme here orbital level 44 uh grim snarl not quite level 44 for level 43 though but you know grim star grim snarl is looking like quite a cool pokemon um we uh yeah we, we, we're doing all right we're doing all right we're gonna head now outside of the rock type gym i think the next gym is in spike Muth, so that is where we're going to be heading uh the seventh gym um so i assume we'll have to go down through route nine sonya that battle was brilliant that gym leader was tough but you had no trouble searchester has some really great restaurants does it i got some things i want to talk to you about so let's head to a restaurant to celebrate your win the name of the restaurant is bob's your uncle brilliant <laughs> Brilliant! What a what a nice little bit of uh, sort of London lingo they've thrown into that. Oh, there's something shiny over here. Two XP attacks. X SP attacks. Sorry. Where is Bob's your uncle? Is it this one? Is this Bob's your uncle? I don't know if this is Bob's your uncle. I can't I can't understand Galarian text. Oh yeah, it must be. Oh, look at that sizzly peed. Got that gym badge, Jack. Nice one. Oh, hey, there you are. Yes, we did, of course, get that gym badge. I've been trying to find out more about the Darkest Day and the Sword and Shield Pokemon, but still no luck. Oh, what is that? Wait, hold on. No way. What's this? Uh, uh, I don't know what it is. A fifth tapestry? The heroes look sad. And where are the sword and shield? What was the meaning of this picture? An end to the legend? I don't know. Hmm, perhaps when their duty was completed, they some they went to some kind of sleep. Perhaps, I mean, you can see gravestones, so maybe that's what happened. Based on those statues we saw back in Stoneside, the sword and shield were actually two Pokemon, right? That's right. That's my take on it, at least. Remember the Pokemon we met that day? Do you think it could have been one of them? Either the Sword or the Shield Pokemon? You met them? Come on, you know what I'm talking about, right Jack? Yeah, in the slumbering world. Exactly! The mad Pokemon we ran into in the fog. Don't you think that could have been it? Oh, that's right. You lot have been in the slumbering world. I only started on this journey because my grand told me to. But this is turning out to be too much fun. You've got to tell me more. How about we discuss this over a meal? Go on, what do you guys want to eat? Let's get our orders in. Um, I don't know what I want to eat, actually. Uh, not whatever you're having, because it probably doesn't taste that great. Ah, fascinating. What's so fascinating? All right, the next thing to do now we're done eating is to have a look around in Surchester. Let's inspect the hero's bath. What is the hero's bath? Um... Oh, okay, let's just go out. Oh, it's just this sort of um, hot spring in the middle of the city that we walk past on our way into the gym. Hmm, I don't know what this is. I still can't understand Galarian writing. I don't know what that means. The Hero's Bath. They say this is where two heroes became, came to soothe their wounds after the battle to bring down that evil presence long ago. Nowadays, only Pokemon really use the Hero's Bath, though. Hmm, who exactly were the heroes that bathed here? I think I'll have to look into that. Yeah, you do that, Sonya. You you go ahead and do that. You do you. Uh, 
You two met a mysterious Pokemon back in a slumbering world. Perhaps you can, you two can become new heroes. Perhaps we can. Perhaps that will, that's what our destiny is, you know. What, like some hero weaving around a sword and shield? Pull the other one, though. I guess I'd fancy a shield if I had to take my pick. What kind of battle do you think the heroes had back then? Why don't we show her, Jack? Think we can pull off a real heroic battle? Absolutely. Sonya treated us to a great meal. After that, Curry, I feel like I've got a lot of energy to wrestle. I beware. I don't entirely understand your reasoning, but I might just as well see what you can do. I'll hurl up your Pokemon for you, Jack. So give it your best. Thank you very much, Sonya. Thank you. Always, always appreciate the nice little heal. Time for a little exhibition match starring the future champion. And of course, Hop as well. You know, we have to give him some credit. I don't, he hasn't beaten us yet so far, so. We are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. Alright. Sent out a double. Go on, Dreadnought. I know you can do it. Yeah, I definitely know you can do it, Dreadnought. A double. Is that that's what Wooloo evolves into? It looks it looks it looks alright. Looks decent. I mean if you've got a uh, a Wooloo and you you know you're you're undecisive on whether to keep it, it looks like a cool evolution. Although it's you know critical hit from the rock tomb. Stay on, partner. I feel your pain, and we'll get them back through it. I mean, bless him, man. He's had the he's had the Wooloo since the start of the game, basically. Using takedown, it's gonna hit itself with recoil. Yeah, only a tiny bit of recoil damage. Buffeted by the hail, so is the double as well. Nice little side effect to add into the mix. Let's go ahead and hit it with another rock tomb. Oh, she's in the hyper potion, or Hop is using the hyper potion, should I say? On the double, completely restoring its HP. Just hit it with a rock tomb. That worked for us. It's about half, maybe just under half the HP gone. All right. But with the help of <laughs> the hail. It's actually pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh, Jamie HD fan is in the chat. Yo, what's up? What do I think about Pochettino getting sacked? I mean, there was obviously a lot of chat about that at work today. Um, I sort of saw it coming. You know, it's one of those things I feel like. I understand that he hasn't had a lot of money to spend because of, you know, getting a new stadium and everything. But when you've been at a club for what, five and a half years, I guess you're expected to do better than he was doing, you know, at least be competitive in some aspects. And I mean, they, you know, they obviously have run, um, run it close in the um, in the Premier League on a few occasions. Um, yeah, it's um, it's just one of those things, I guess. Five years not winning a not winning a trophy. I guess that's really the only downfall to it. Um, what the hell is a pincher? A pinker chin? Uh, let's just rock to it. I don't know. I don't know what this Pokemon is. No idea what it is. Level 39. Who do I think is going to take over? Well, it's been confirmed today. Have you, have you seen the news? It's been confirmed. Jose Mourinho is uh, taking over as the manager of Tottenham until the end. Of, or I say until the end of 2023. His, his contract is until 2023. Um, I also saw some insane stat earlier about that and how his uh, contract is actually basically... I think his contract is earning him something like £15 million a year. Which is absolutely crazy. I think it's like £1,800 an hour or something. Someone did the math on it. Okay, so it's an electric type. I uh, didn't realise that. We're probably going to die to the hail. Oh, no Dreadnought. But yeah, yeah, Jose Mourinho is the new manager of Tottenham. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure what to uh, what to expect. Oh, uh, you think Jose is gonna get it after next season? Gonna get what? Gonna get gonna get sacked? You think? I don't know. Jose Mourinho is the current manager. Uh, it was confirmed today. You think he's gonna get sacked? Yeah, yeah. Mm. I don't know. I feel like they'll give him. Obviously, I I don't think unless he does complete rubbish when he's there at the moment. I don't know if he'll be sacked um, at the end of this season. I feel like he, you know, he's obviously going to be trying to look for players to bring in in January when he gets to sign some players. If he gets any money to sign some players, um, then he'll be looking in 
looking to bring in some players that sort of suit his playstyle. I feel like trying to judge what's going to happen with Tottenham at the moment is a bit difficult. I think it's more about trying to keep a hold of the current players that they have as well, because I feel like a lot of them, obviously Pochettino brought in a lot of those players, and I feel like he might end up going to Real Madrid. Um, and in that case, it's just a matter of time before, you know, some other players um, decide, oh, wait a minute, I want to, I actually like playing for Pochettino, let me go to Real Madrid or wherever Pochettino goes, because I don't think that guy's going to be out of a job for too long. He is a, he's a decent manager, I just feel like, yeah, you know, the way that they've been playing this season, uh, perhaps not as good as they should be playing, certainly given the talent that they've got. He does have the chance, but what he did for Man United was horrific, yeah, I mean, I feel like Man United, well, there's two different ways you can look at it. Man United was maybe a bit of a rough patch for him, but at the same time, you know, considering... I feel like it's difficult to carry on what Ferguson left and you saw that they had a couple of managers in between Ferguson and Mourinho that wasn't able to do that and obviously it's not paid off for, for Man United so far but I think Jose Mourinho in his time at United was actually fairly decent um, you know he finished second obviously the best the best finish he had with Man United was second um, to Man City who were just you know powerhouses at the time so I feel like maybe it's a bit a bit bad to say that it was a bit of a rough patch. I just feel like he did he did the best that he could with what he had, and I I feel like really for me that was more on the players than than uh, than the manager of myself. But okay, heat crash. The user slams its target with its flame covered body. The more that user outweighs the target, the greater the powers move. Hmm. I don't want to. This flame charge. We get rid of flame charge. Yeah, why not? Let's get rid of flame charge. What about the South End manager? I didn't know. I'm not too up to date about my uh, South End. What League One, League Two? I'm not too up to date with my lower league uh, football news. But did he get sacked? I'm assuming he got sacked. Ah, South End United, Sol Campbell. Okay. Okay, Sol Campbell. Did he leave? Is he still there? Thought I heard that he left. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe I uh, misheard that, but I'm fairly certain I heard that he had uh, he had left there. I don't know. Like I say, I'm not too up to date with my uh, with my League One, League Two knowledge. Uh, come on, I don't know what I don't know what Pokemon we have that is actually good against Corviknight, so we're gonna send. Oh yeah, wait a minute. It's a, it's a flying steel type, isn't it? Let's go ahead and use incinerate. Well, actually, let's try out heat crash. Let's see what the animation looks like for this scary face lowering our attack. I believe. Does that lower our attack? Oh, it lowers our speed. Uh, Soul Campbell's still there. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Like I say, I'm not too clued up about what's going on in the lower league. So what what happened at South End? Is he like, has he just gone there or? Uh, it's lowering our speed. It hasn't actually attacked us yet, so we're just gonna head, go ahead and incinerate it and hopefully kill it. There we go. There we go. Well, we need to pay attention. What Pokemon is he gonna send out next? Been there for a while. Yeah, I thought he had been. I thought he had been there for a while. There we go. Corviknight and Grimmsnarl both leveling up. Grimmsnarl up to level 44. Ah, oh, Colossal. Snorlax. Ah, oh, this is the bloody Pokemon that did my head in the last time. Um, let's put Grim Snarl in. I don't feel like I've got any Pokemon that is good against a normal type, so let's have to play Grim Snarl and hope for the best. I mean, we do still have all of our Pokemon alive. Alright, Hop, whatever you say, mate, whatever you say, I mean, you can send out a small axe. Yeah, what's going on? What's going on with South Campbell at South End then? Like I say, I don't know. I don't know what you're mentioning. Ooh. Look at that animation for Spirit Break, that was cool. Lowers the SP attack, Heavy Slam, is that going to be effective against us? What do I think the score is going to be out of Coventry and Succumbulant? 
Oh, so do you mean Sunderland? Is that is that your way of saying that you don't like Sunderland? Oh no, it's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. I don't know. Are they playing tonight? Is there, are there League One, League Two games on tonight? I'm not sure what the outcome will be. Where where were they both at the table? I thought Coventry were quite near the top of the table, weren't they? But then again, I guess Sunderland would be as well. Um, who, who's playing? Who's playing at home? Is is my next question. Who's playing at home? Okay, they're playing on Saturday. I don't know who's playing at home. If you tell me who's playing at home or away, then I might be able to tell you. Well, I might be able to give you my prediction at least. I'm not. I'm not too clued up as as I say with lower league football. Thanks, you two gave a right proper battle. At the rate you both are going, even the unbeatable Leon may be in trouble. So what's next, you two? I plan to look into things in a slumbering world. I'm going to keep challenging that gym. Then once I get that gym badge, I'll be heading for Route 9 to take on Spike Muth next. Alright, you do that. Sunderland are at home. I mean, it's going to be a good game, I reckon. Um, I think maybe Sunderland will just edge it. Um, there's no disrespect to Coventry, I feel like just the Stadium of Light and home fans for Sunderland will probably just help them get across the line. Uh, seems like he finally shook off that gloom. Leon would worry if Hop wasn't feeling alright. As his rival, you wouldn't like it either, right? See ya! See ya later, Sonia. Are you gonna heal up my Pokemon or am I gonna have to go back to a Pokemon Center to heal them up? Yeah, I'm gonna definitely have to go back to a Pokemon Center to heal up these Pokemon. Uh, which I totally know where the Pokemon Center is in this city because I haven't forgot. So it's somewhere. Here it is. There we go. We found it, guys. Don't worry about it. We found it. How's your day been, anyway, JB? Have you had, have you had a good day so far? Are you doing anything interesting this evening? Well, last season Coventry won the second half of the season 5 4, got the fifth goal in the last minute. Oh, wow. That sounds like an incredibly exciting game. That sounds like a very exciting game indeed. Uh, do we need any potions before we leave? Super potions, hyper potions, and we've got a couple of potions as well. Uh, we've got a couple of. I feel like we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay for now. Right, let's move on to Spike Muth, which I believe is somewhere over this way. I think it's over to the right, if I'm not mistaken. I could be completely wrong, but it seems like this is the this is the only direction that we haven't explored. Okay, maybe it's not up this way. I feel like yeah, we tried to go there in the last episode, or we tried to get past some Team Yell grunts in the last episode. Um, but I don't know where that was. Maybe maybe was it before we got to the city? Maybe it was just outside the city. Um, let's go and explore. Let's also just put Grim Snarl at the top of our party. So let's just go down here and let's head out of uh, what's this place called? I've forgotten the name of it. Surchester is it? I think it's called Surchester. Oh we're down on Route 9. Let's go. Okay this is the way that we have to go I believe. I think this is the way that we have to go. Yeah, pass through Route 9 down to Spike Move. Let's just check it out. We are going down here and then Spike Move is over here. And then I imagine we'll have to head back to not still on side but the other place. Oh there is someone here with a fishing rod. Let's go up against them. Meaning a trainer can only mean battle. What a simple concept. He's gonna ask your mom if you could go to the Coventry Christmas light switch on, but she said no, so you're pissed off. Oh mate, don't. Uh, I mean that's annoying. I guess it would have been fun. They're already turning off the Christmas lights this early. I feel like a lot of places would do that in like December, that's at the start of December. Um, but hey, you know that sucks. Um, I'm sorry to hear about that. I'm I'm sure you can uh, you know have fun indoors um, instead of going outside. I mean it is quite cold outside, so. Yeah, I guess you can just keep warm and stay inside. It's probably the best thing to do at this moment in time. Barraskewed up. Bye bye, Barraskewed up. Let's go. Got it just down to enough HP where the hail would kill it. Alright, all beetle, are we going to level up? Not quite. Rillaboom as well, almost up to level 45. A lantern. Lantern is a psychic. Oh, so is it an electric water, right? 
I think it's electric water. Let's use Spirit Break on it, just because I like the animation for this move. Not that effective, not that effective, but still done a decent amount of damage. Bubble Beam. Ooh, it's been a while since I've seen a move like that. One of the OG Pokemon moves coming out. Alright, let's go ahead and finish off this Lantern. There we go. Easy as you like. Oh, Rillaboom and Orbeetle. All Leveling up, there we go. Rillaboom level 45, Orbeetle level 45. Grim Snow, again, lacking behind very slightly, but, you know, level 44 is not too bad, so. Again, I'm not sure what level my Pokemon need to be on for the next gym. What the hell is that? I don't know what that is, I'm gonna go and touch it. What is that? What the hell is that? A wild Mariani. I've never seen that Pokemon before in my entire life. Maybe it's a new one, I don't know. Let's go and Dark Pulse. I think we'll maybe try to catch this Pokemon. We're going to the Lanneaton Christmas light switch on at the weekend, so I'm a bit excited for that. Yeah, that sounds cool. That sounds cool. I don't think I've ever actually been to like a, an actual live Christmas light switch on event. Um, Mainly because, mainly because it's just too cold, I guess. Um, yeah, I've never really, never really bothered going out of my way to try and go and watch people turn on Christmas lights because I don't, I don't know, I don't find people. I don't. I understand that they can come up with some cool displays and everything, but I don't know. I just don't, I just don't like that that sort of stuff. Maybe it's just not for me. But you know, I'm glad that you're going to go in and, and have fun and enjoy it. Just make sure that you wrap up warm. Like I say, it's going to be. I, I feel like it's going to be probably cold on the weekend. Um, as it has been over the last week or so, so yeah, just make sure that you uh, wrap up and make yourself nice and warm. Oh, oh, it only rolled once that time. The Pokeball only rolled once, and we caught it. Ha! Huh, I've never seen that do that before. I've never seen a Pokeball roll only one time and then let us catch a Pokemon like that. That's interesting. A brutal star Pokemon. The first symptom of its sting is numbness. The second is an itching sensation to, so intense that it's impossible to resist the urge to claw at your skin. Oh, well, that sounds... That doesn't sound great, does it? Uh, we're going to go ahead and send you to our box. I don't actually know how many Pokemon we've caught so far. Max Potion, that's what I'm talking about. We've got a bunch of Pelipper over here. Not, I'm not too, uh, not too keen on catching a Pelipper trying to catch a Pelipper. I don't know if that's a Pokemon trainer. It looks like a Pokemon trainer. She's juggling a Pokeball in her hand. Am I going to be playing FIFA at some point today? No, I'm not, unfortunately. Um, but I will be playing some FIFA. I'll be doing a live stream tomorrow around may maybe 6, half 6 um, tomorrow evening. Um, and I will be playing some FIFA. So, yeah, there is a live stream up from yesterday. If you haven't had a chance to watch that, go and check it out. Um, we made our way up to the end of the League One season in that stream and um, maybe I don't know if I'm going to be streaming tomorrow actually maybe I'm at, I might have a video up tomorrow of me playing some FIFA um, but I don't know if it's going to be a live stream because we get to a pretty exciting point at the end of League One and I kind of wanted to sort of separate that out as just do an episode on that um, so we might have an episode up, maybe not a live stream, but certainly I'm going to try my best to try and get some FIFA up tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then definitely, definitely on, um, I think on Friday we'll definitely have a, a, a FIFA video up on the channel. Uh, let's go ahead and swap Orbeetle to the front of the party now to face this Pokemon trainer. What place did Coventry get to in the game? Uh, I don't know. I can't remember off the top of my head, mate. Um, I think they were fairly close to the top of the table. I think they might have finished just outside the playoffs, which I feel like I did that to them because I think one of the games that we did play, I played against Coventry and I beat them, and that basically sealed our playoff position. Um, and there was still a couple of games left to go in that um, after that game, but you know I don't think they were able to make it into the final playoff spot, which is a bit unfortunate. As I know you are a, uh, a Coventry fan. But yeah, I mean, like I say, there is a live stream up. The last live stream that we did, you can go check it out on the channel. So if you want to see 
uh, keep up to date with what happened in the last uh, live stream on FIFA, then you can uh, go ahead and check that out. But like I say, I'm probably not going to play any FIFA today. Um, I might might have an episode up, not a live stream, but might have a pre-recorded episode up tomorrow. Um, but I'm not too sure. So Blossom is coming out. Let's send Corviknight in because I know Blossom is obviously a grass type. So we're going to counter rank that. So I don't know what pressure does. I still do not know what pressure does. I also want to check something out after this battle because I've seen some people checking it out on like Twitter and Reddit and all of this all. Um, other stuff and a lot of people have been paying attention to IVs and I just haven't been paying attention to IVs um, which are like independent values or individual values or whatever and each Pokemon has different sets of IVs depending on its like nature and uh, it's just attack stats and defense stats and all of that stuff so I'm gonna quickly go to my Pokemon I want to check the summary of you and I don't know how to view IVs I don't know how to view IVs on this. I feel like some people... I feel like some people were checking out IVs, which basically tell you how good a Pokemon is. I, I, I suppose, um, you know, to not get into too many detail about it, too much detail about it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to check that out. Maybe... Pokedex? Is it something in the Pokedex? Is there, I don't know if there's a way to check out IVs. Uh, anyway, anyway, I'm not going to dwell on that too much. I'll probably look that up after after the stream today, just to try and figure out how I can check on how my Pokémon are doing. Basically, let's go ahead and heal up Grim Snarl all the way back to full health, and then let's continue down here. What's going on down here? Are there any other Pokémon to come up against? So just a bay. Alright, so on a, ooh, what is going on over here? There's no way we're letting you anywhere near Spike Muth, and that means we can't let you go on to Route 9. It's TVL's duty to cheer on these lovely Dreadnought. And also, we get to stop people from heading out over the water. A bite! Okay. What is going on here? Yes, I understand. All I'm saying is that can I make it so that Rotom bikes can ride on water? Why, we meet again, my young gym challenger friend. Remember me? I gave you that bike. So, do you think you could do me a fa another favor? Uh, yeah, it depends what that favor is, mate. And teach these ruffians a lesson or two. Okay, I can definitely do that for you. It's our duty to protect Dreadnought. And that means you're going to need to give up on the gym challenge. And you look like you need to convince them. So how about a Pokemon battle? Sure. I'll send you packing for the sake of Dreadnought, of course. I mean... I don't want to do anything to the Dreadnought. I have one myself, and I love it. And I would never want to hurt that Dreadnought. So just let me pass, okay? Sending out a Linu. Ooh. Alright. Let us... Ooh, Struggle Bug, super effective. That's what I'm talking about. Lowering its SP attack as well in the process. Tried to use counter, but it failed. Alright, come on, all beetle. Ah, uh, night slash. No, is that going to be super effective against me? Yeah, it is. It's dark against psychic, isn't it? I think that's what it means. Dark against psychic is super effective. But bug against dark? I think Linen's dark normal type or. I know Zigzagoon was a normal type, and I'm assuming that that's a dark type, just because they use Night Slash. Uh, a Pangoro, that is a fighting type, so Corviknight come out and be super effective against it. I mean, I guess I could have left War Beetle in there, and I feel like I could have psychic it to death, but we'll, uh, we'll switch in Corviknight. Again, let's just exert that pressure all over the place. Let us go ahead and drill peck. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. One hit KO on the Pangoro. Oh yeah, Colossal and Grimmsnarl both upper level as well. 
Grim Snow up to level 45, Colossal along 46. There we go, we defeated the Team Yell Grunt. So oh, I wanna go back to Spike Move, I really do. Then you can go back to Spike Move and let me come with you because I wanna get there. I wanna get the 7th Gym badge. Ha! Huh. He's gonna ride the Dreadnought! I'm not. Oh, I've got an idea. We can go on Dreadnought first and ride it away. All right, get a move on Dreadnought. See you later, Gym Challenger. Bite. What? What? Is this when I'm gonna be able to like start, start um, surfing on water? Seems like you come to my age yet again. How's the cycling life been treating you? Are you still having fun? Wouldn't it be great if you could ride your road on bike on the water too? That's why I'm going to add these special parts, allowing it to travel along the water surface just for you. Ooh, I obtained another Rotom Bike. Rotom Bike. This can be combined with the Pokemon Rotom to not only do a turbo boost, but also run on the water. Alright, alright, with the Rotom Bike. Water mode, you'll cruise across the water like a Pokemon with Swift Swim. By the by, when you're riding on land, we'll call it Land Mode. Makes sense. Makes sense to me. Let us just do a quick heal on Orbital. Maybe we move Grim Snarl back to the top of the party as well, just to uh, just to make sure that we give him as many as much XP as possible. Uh, whoa, whoa! What the hell was that? That was like not Manatee, but not Mantine, whatever that Pokemon was called. Uh, how do I? How do I? That. There we go. What is that? What is that? A grapple locked? Man, this... Okay. This is what I'm talking about. These are the cool Pokemon I've been waiting for. Level 50. Oh, man. Um... I think we're going to try and catch it. I don't know what... I don't know what it is. Reversal... Is that a fighting type? Is that a fighting type octopus? Huh? What? Uh, let's spirit break it. I don't, yeah, I don't know what, well, I know what's effective against a fighting type, but I kind of want to get, ooh, okay. Fairy type move seems to be super effective against a uh, fighting type as well, so I didn't know that. Topsy-turvy, I don't know what that does, but we're going to see if we can try and catch it, because it looks cool. It's also about to die, so I hope I can catch it. Come on, please, please. Oh, it was close. It was so close. Octolock. What the hell is that? Oh, that animation though. Yeah, but you're gonna die. Please don't die. Please, please stay alive. Please stay alive. Oh, grapple lock. I mean. We'll take the XP, but it looked like a cool Pokemon. Maybe we'll bump into another one at some point. Corviknight and Dreadnought both leveling up. Can't really complain about that, but would have loved to have caught that. Uh, let's see if we can find another one. Maybe it's just a swarm. There's a Whelmer there. There's a bunch of Whelmer here. I don't, I don't really want to encounter Whelmer at the moment. There seems to be a secret path leading off down this way. Uh, there's something shiny. I swear there was something shiny over there. Maybe that was just a... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that was. Maybe it's just my screen. Ooh, there seems to be a bunch of Whelmer over here. But what the hell is that? What is that big spiky thing? But I can see we've got a trainer here. Whether it's fishing or Pokemon battles, type matchups are important. That is very true. That is very true. Type matchups always win or lose the battle in my opinion. Fisher Marina sent out a Quillfish. Man, what an ugly Pokemon that is. What an ugly Pokemon. When I say that, I've got a nose like a whatever that is, you know, pointy as hell hell. But I can't really talk about looks when I got a Pokemon looking like that. Oh what? Poison? Effect to get dark? When did that happen? Okay, well, we're gonna have to pull Grimmsnarl out of the battle, I'm afraid. Um, do we. Yeah, we have Rilla. Oh, no, but if it's a poison type, Rillaboom will be super effective. 
Uh, Colossal, Pandem, maybe not. Corviknight. Man, no, let's send in Orbital. Let's send in Orbital, see how that goes. Alright. Poison Jab, is that going to be super effective against us as well? Okay, it's not. It's not. That's cool. Orbital buffeted by the hail, but so is Quillfish, and Quillfish dies. That's great. That's great. Alright. Who are you going to send out next if you have another Pokemon? Piyuk Kamaku. I don't know what that is. I'm going to keep Orbital in. I have no idea what that Pokemon is. What? Yeah, what the hell is that? Okay, let's just Psychic it. Oh, not quite, not quite, not quite good enough. It's using Pardon. It looks like a Caterpie. A water version of Caterpie is what it looks like. Alright. Maybe we can kill it this time. Again, not sure what is super effective against it, but let's try and kill it. A Piyakamaku. Using Taunt. What does that do? What does, what does Taunt do? Does that mean that I can just use... I can only attack? Is that what that means? I think that's what it means. I can't use any like status range effects. Yaku Maku used innards out and I got damage from that. What? <coughs> that is such a bizarre ability. There we go, Orbeez are almost up to level 46. No more Pokemon for you, Fishing Arena. Losing with a spiky Pokemon makes my heart feel prickly. Aww. Unlucky, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry you uh, had to go through that. There is another giant pretty Pokemon there. Let's check out this sign. Spike move is down. I want to try and figure out what that is. But we're also going to restore Grimmsnarl before we go up against it. Just use a Hyper Potion and maybe a Potion on it. Just to get it back up to a relatively decent amount of HP. Or Beetle could probably use a heal as well. So we're going to go ahead and Super Potion that. I'm also going to stop tapping my foot on the ground because I can see that it's making my webcam <laughs> shake. So I'm going to go ahead and stop that. <coughs> What are you? A Toxapex. Is that what that thing that that Marini evolved into? That's what it looks like, surely. I mean, it's the same sort of spiky thing, which means that maybe this will be effective against it. Okay, maybe not. But I know it's going to poison me. It's going to try and do a poison attack and it's going to kill me. Pin missile, that is not a poison attack. That's fine. Oh, but it is one of those repetitive attacks. That animation looks cool. The attack animation from that Tox effect looks cool. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and call the knife. I don't know what type of that Tox effect is. But maybe was it a water poison type? Or was it pre-evolution? So maybe it's a water poison type. Venom Drench, but it failed. Okay, right, let's go ahead and fly. Get out of this way. Fly up high. Reach the sky. Come on, let's use fly. Come on, please. Please be good against it. It doesn't even do that much damage. Man, the hail is really annoying me. The hail, I mean, I, I understand weather effects, but that is a really frustrating that you my health, and there's nothing I can do about it, but if we get rid of the top effect. Or Beetle up to level 46. Rillaboom and Grim Snow almost up to level 46 as well. So, what are these? I don't know what that is. It looks like an octopus. Is that what evolves into that octo punch thing that we had? The clobopus. Ooh. Look at that. It's got some cool looking like boxing gloves on its hands. I guess it's wearing boxing gloves. I don't know. I think spirit break should be super effective against it though. Hopefully it doesn't kill it. I uh, killed it. Killed it. 
Alright, well... Yeah, we'll take that. We'll, I mean, we'll take the experience. Maybe we'll have to come back at some point and try to catch these Pokemon. Uh, I don't know what else is down here. There's Welmers spawning left, right and centre. Someone's camp is up there. Police officer up here who's camped out. Rumour has it where there was a camping king somewhere in a wild area. Have you seen him? He changes the colour of the tent and rates your curry decks. Oh, if you're cold and tired, feel free to stay at my camp. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, mate. There's a Pokemon over this way. I kind of want to explore out in the water a bit more. I kind of want to go out into the, into the ocean and just explore, if we can explore somewhere down here. Oh, look, there's one. There's one. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Right, we found another one. We found another one. We found another Graphlox. It looks cool, man. It looks cool. Is it going to be level 50? Probably not. Well, is it level 50? Spirit Break. We used that last time. To great effect. Now we might have some more time to try and actually catch it because we haven't whittled its uh, health down that much. Wow! Wow, this Pokemon seems overpowered. Wow, maybe we have to stop using Dreadnought and have Graplock be our water type Pokemon that we go to. Ascending Rillaboom for now. Obviously we're going to try and catch it, we're going to try and use a couple of Pokeballs on it. We know its health isn't that low, but we can hopefully try and catch it. Come on, one. On the first roll, all the time, man, all the time. Okay, so Rillaboom can't escape from the battle, can't be swapped out of the battle. But we know that in a couple of turns time, this guy, Grappalock, is going to be dead via the hail that's happening, so let's go ahead and continue trying to catch it. Only using Pokeballs right now. One. Two. Oh, come on, maybe we might have to upgrade to a uh, Great Ball. Using Superpower. Wow. What does that do? Does it great lower its attack and its defense? Come on, come on, we have to beat this crap a lot. We have to, right? Well, not beat it, we have to catch it. Let's go ahead and use a Great Ball, please. The Great Ball's just gonna not work on the first one, is it? Look. Look, look, what is going on? I don't understand how you can have this both ball. And then they're all just being really, like, terrible after an actual Pokeball. We've lost two of our Pokemon to this thing trying to catch it. And it's gonna die in a minute. It's definitely gonna die. We might have one more turn. Maybe not even one more turn. I feel like the dream of having this uh, this Graphalox might might have to be short-lived. Maybe we go for an Ultra Ball. Maybe that's what we do. Maybe we try to just throw an Ultra Ball at it and catch it. Here we go, Ultra Ball. Please, please work, please work. I give up. I give up with this game. How do we get two shakes on a Pokeball, but nothing on a, one shake on, a, on, a, on an Ultra Ball? I don't, I don't understand. And it's dead as well. All of that for nothing. All of that for nothing. And we lost two Pokemon in the process as well. I uh, don't understand it. don't understand it. There's an item over here. Let's go check this out. What is this? Protector. A protective item of some sort is extremely stiff and heavy. It's loved by a certain Pokemon. Ah, uh, that's what Viperia needs to evolve. Oh, go away, Welmer. I don't want you. I mean, I understand that, like, on a team of... If you've got one of the IHV team, then, yeah, you know, you'd be perfect. But I don't want you. I want to run away. Please let me run away. Now it's, oh, it's going to bounce. It's going to go up into the air. Please let me run away. Please let me run away. Oh, thank you, thank you. Now that Wellmer is just somewhere up in the air. No! Why? Why is there another one there? Please. So annoying. It's just run away. Now she's in rest. It's going to sleep. That's fine. Let me run away, please. I'll come back at another time to catch a Wellmer. Thank <laughs> you. 
Please, let me run away. Let me run away, please. Let me run. Yeah, there we go. We've got away safely again. No! I was literally just adjusting something. Oh, I just want to get out of this area. I'm so fed up of this stupid area. Thank you. Bye bye. I'm sorry, man, Tyke. Please, Wilma, go away. Go away from me. Right, there's another chip. No, 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 don't, don't, don't go into this battle there. I don't like how it doesn't dismount you off your bike. Um, that annoys me. Because I kind of want to slow down when I get onto land. I know I can just press the, uh, the minus button to get rid of it, but it's just, it's just too much effort, man. Just, just automatically dismount me off my bike and I'll be happy. Grim Snow is back alive, so is Rillaboom. Let us use a potion on Colossal and a potion on Corviknight. Right, here we go. Let's dismount. And now we've got Grim Snow to go up against this guy. Swimming trains muscles, muscles launch moves. I'm sure it does, mate. Cloyster. Now that's a Pokemon I haven't seen in a while. One of my favourite first gen Pokemon. Um, certainly late game as well, because it's got an ice type, and the ice type is always great against the dragons, so. She doesn't protect. God damn it, I mean, obviously it would no protect. Alright. Let's try that. Let's try that one more time. Let's try that one more time. See, Cloyster unaffected by the hail, because it is an ice type, as I say. Icicle Spear doesn't do too much damage to us, which is good. Oh, oh it's repeating. So a repetitive move, bane of my existence. Oh, come on, five times it hits maximum times as well. Break the spirit. Got damn cloister. Didn't do, didn't do too much damage, to be fair. Oh, feels like this is going to be a long one. Let's just spirit break it again. Using Whirlpool, we're trapping us in a Whirlpool, so we'll take additional damage at the end of each turn, as well as the damage from Hail. Whoa, if only it was affected by Hail, then it would be good. But it's not. We'll probably end up dying. Uh, we're not going to risk it. We know Grim Snarl was fairly close to leveling up, so. We will send in Dreadnought. Oh, I can't be switched out because I'm in a Whirlpool. Oh, this is so bloody annoying. Please hit first. Oh, oh please don't kill yourself. Please don't kill yourself. Oh, that's so annoying. So annoying. <sighs> Alright, now we can send in the Dreadnought. I feel like we need to revive um, the Skull so they can level up. Because that is that. so bloody annoying. Alright, please. It's fine. I don't care about being trapped in a Vortex. Let's get out of here. Finish this battle and move on. I don't know how many Pokemon he's got. He's only got one. But Cloyster, as I say, Cloyster is a really frustrating Pokemon. Rock 2 should kill it. There we go, okay. So, Rock type, super effective against ice. Keep that in mind for the future. Oh, there we go. Grim Snarl up to level 46, just as I had hoped. To deal with the shock of losing, I'm going to swim far, far away. I'm sure you are, mate. Have fun swimming in what looks to be ridiculously cold water because... Oh, I pressed the wrong button. That's what I was going to press. Too many Whelmers everywhere. Oh, there's another one. There's another Grappalox. Oh, there's another Grappalox. I kind of... Uh, 
guys, this is going to be the third grapple locked in this episode that we try and catch. Oh, it's frustrating because I really want to catch it because it looks cool. You know, it looks like a cool Pokemon and I would probably end up switching out Dreadnought for it. It just looks cool. I want to catch it, I want to catch it, I want to catch it. Come on, please. If you're level 50, then good. But please let me catch you. Don't be like the other two. Level 50, Spirit Break, get it down to a decent amount of HP and then please let me catch it. Please just let me catch it. I need I need to catch this Pokemon. Using Topsy Turvy, I don't know what that is but I'm glad it's not, not being able to hit me. Please. Right, we're not going to use an Ultra Ball, we're just going to use a Pokeball. We're just going to use a standard Pokeball. For some reason it seems to be better. Jeez, uh, really want to catch this Pokemon. Just surely based on the fact that it looks cool. I'm not even going to watch. First time again. Guys, guys, this is not going great. Is there a Pokeball that we can use? Water or bug type, a netball. We could try and use a netball, but I think it might be a water type, right? It has to be a water type. Not a water type. It's not a water type then. Not a water type. Uh, a love ball? It is the opposite gender route. Current Pokemon. Why is it, oh, why is he so difficult to catch? Why is he so difficult to catch? Instead again, the third one that has died to hail as we've been trying to catch it. I mean, fair enough, Grim Snarl gets a decent amount of XP, but and Rillaboom goes up a level. Wants to learn Woodhammer. Ooh. What does Woodhammer do? The user slams its rugged body into the target to attack. This also damages the user quite a lot. Is it worth... Is it worth it? I think we get rid of Screech. I think we get rid of Screech. Just go pure grass type. But Woodhammer just doesn't seem worth it. If it says quite a lot. If it was like, just hit, get hit by recoil. That's fine, but... Damaging myself quite a lot, I'm not I'm not okay with that. I don't know where I'm going as well guys. Oh, what is that? Go away from me, Remoraid. I don't want you. I know I should probably You know, at some point actually try to commit to trying to complete the Pokedex, but I wanna do that after I finish the game. Look, again, I want to dismount, let me dismount automatically please. Got a pearl. What is what is that? Is that it's just a rock? Okay. Find a max elixir as well. There are a bunch of those Octo Post Pokemon down here. Let's go and battle you. I'm doing research to see if one day I can swim anywhere with my beloved Toxapex. Sure you will be able to. I'm sure you'll be able to. You were challenged by swimmer Layla. Alright. Top effect. Oh, it's this bloody thing. Wait a minute, what was... What was effective against it? Something was effective against it and I can't remember. What Pokemon was it that was that had a move that was effective? It was a rock type, wasn't it? It was Dreadnought. Dreadnought was super effective against it. Let's go ahead and switch that out. I think rock type was the we used on the last one that we encountered in the wild. Venom shock, which is what poison type. Yeah, not, not too much damage. Both gonna be buffed by the hail. So, fairly certain Rock Tomb was super effective, wasn't it? Ah, uh, fairly certain that's what we used last time. Oh. What? 
What else would it have been? Was it Rock Tomb? I can't remember what, what move we used. Ah, uh, no, Rock Tomb was what was good against Ice type, wasn't it? Oh, Jesus, okay. Um. I mean, Dreadnought's in there at the moment. Baneful Bunker. I don't know what that does. Glad it done nothing to me though. Yeah, Rock Tomb doesn't do too much. But hopefully we've lowered its speed so that we'll be able to actually kill it. Or maybe the hail might be able to help us out. There we go. We hit it first, which is always a good sign. Yep, there we go. Managed to kill it. Oh yeah, there we go. Dreadnought and Corviknight both up to level 47. That's what I'm talking about. Swimmer Layla. I'm sorry, Swimmer Layla. Is this the limit of water types? No, I can still come up with more. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to, uh, you know, make you feel a bit downheartened. But hey, Big Pearl. We found a Big Pearl. That's what I'm talking about. Let's continue over this way. <sighs> All right, mate. All right, mate. All right, mate. We're gonna we're gonna catch you this time. We we have to catch you. We we have to catch this Pokemon. I'm not gonna give up on it. I'm definitely not gonna give up on it until my spirit break is out. But we have to catch you, Graphalox. Oh, we're not even gonna have a chance to catch it. It's gonna die to the hail instantly. It's gonna die to the hail instantly. Watch. It's gonna die to the hail instantly. Oh, we might have one chance to catch it. Um, how do we do this? No, what? Oh, no, quick! Oh, oh we're just gonna go in the ultra ball. It, please, 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 grapple lock. What is the point in an ultra ball? What is the point in anything? Oh, goodness. oh, look. I really want to catch the Pokemon. It's going to be the bane of my life. We're going to have to come back. If we don't, if we don't catch it on this live stream, we definitely have to. We're definitely going to have to come back at some point and try to catch that thing because it's doing my, it's doing my head in. It's doing my head in. It's a cool looking Pokemon that I just want to catch. Oh, it it's teasing me now. It is literally teasing me. It's literally teasing me, that stupid, stupid Pokemon. Yo, what's going on, Crazy Picklers? How's it going? You've joined that, <laughs> not a great time, I'm getting really frustrated by this Pokemon. I'm trying to catch it because it looks awesome. It's a fighting octopus, which, you know, what more do you want from a Pokemon? But it's proven to be really, really difficult. I, I think I've come up against four or five of them so far. And every time, just kills me. Just kills me every time. Well, it doesn't kill me. I'll lower its health a bit, and then it'll just die to hail. And the Pokeballs that I'm using just don't want to catch it, and it annoys me. So I might have like three or four attempts at trying to catch it. <sighs> Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if Crazy Pickler's in the chat can give us some good luck. Just his presence maybe will be enough for us to try and catch this Grapplelox. I'm using Pokeballs because it just seems like it doesn't matter what Pokeball you want to use. So. I mean that that happened last time with the Ultra Ball. It happened last time with the Ultra Ball. I'm not even I'm not even annoyed that it just escapes after no shakes because it happens all the time. Look, it gets buffed by the hail as well. So it's gradually gonna die. Oh, no, I don't want. I don't want to kill it. Please, please. Every time, every time. I don't know what Pokeball to use for it as well. Stat change. Okay, that topsy turvy seems a bit weird. I mean, it could be a good, could be a good move to use in like if we're going up against someone and they're boosting their attack or whatever. And it feels like it could work well if you 
want to like lower your attack, I don't know. Uh right. Premier Ball, why the hell not? It doesn't matter what Pokeball I use, it's not gonna get caught. So frustrating. I am incredibly frustrated by this Pokemon right now. You do not understand how many times I've tried to catch you! Yes, I will use my next Pokemon. Oh my gosh, please. Is there like, do I, do I have to do like the self-conscious thing of mashing the A button as much as you can? Like, well, I was the only person that did that back in the day on the old school Pokemon. You would mash the A button even though you knew it didn't have any effect on it. Like that, you know, you knew it had no effect on how a Pokeball would work, but you still did it anyway. Was I the only person that did that? Maybe that was just me. I know me and my brother certainly did that quite a lot and we spent quite a lot of time in the back of my dad's car just absolutely spamming the A button trying to catch legendary Pokemon all the time. <sighs> Great ball, why not? It doesn't matter. I've given up. 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 The stupid Pokemon. This stupid, stupid Pokemon. I'm gonna die to the hail as well. Oh my! You know what? If I see you again, I'm just not gonna. I'm not gonna bother trying to go after you. I'm not gonna bother because you're absolutely doing my head in. If I had more Ultra Balls, maybe I'd spam it. Maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I need to go and get more Ultra Balls. I'm gonna get out of the way of this Welmer because they are also doing my head in. I can see that there is an item over here, so let's go ahead and check that out. We got a Max Revive. That's cool. We probably need to use one of them to be fair. I don't want to use up my max revives. I don't know if we can buy them at a later stage. We don't have that many revives left either. Which is annoying. It's annoying. It certainly is annoying. Got one hyper potion left. Yeah, let's let's use it on the green snow and then we can use maybe a sort of super potion or a couple of super potions on Dreadnought. Uh Picklers, you have no idea how frustrating that Pokemon has been. You know, I'm just trying to catch it. It looks cool. That's all I want. I just want a cool Pokemon. Let's go ahead and put War Beetle at the top of the party. Maybe we have to just come back at some point and, and try to catch that um, Grappalot because I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, we've been targeted by a Karate guy, it looks like. Aim for your opponent's weak spot. How should they been anyway, Crazy Picklers? Have you been good? I hope you've had a uh, yeah. I hope you've had a good day. Black belt Carter. Oh my gosh! I can't get away from it. I cannot get away from this thing. I mean, this time I don't mind because I can kill it and not really get upset because I can't catch it. I can't get away from this thing. Or Beast will goes up a level. I, I, I'm definitely going to go to sleep tonight and have nightmares about an octopus. That's that's essentially what's going to happen here. I'm going to go to sleep and have you know recurring nightmares about a stupid octopus and a Pokemon I can't catch. There's, are you guys? Oh, you guys are not trainers. What do you think about my secret beach? It's a small, mysterious paradise located on the very cool ocean. Come all the way here, so I'll give you a present. TM45 dive! I don't know if there are places we can dive. The move dive, your Pokemon won't be hit by attacks while diving in water. That's right, it may be similar to my beach, which is cool, so it's so cold that nobody visits. What about you? It's certainly a beach, but it's just too cold. Yep, I don't know why you guys are basically half naked out here on a beach where there is snow falling, but what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Right. Let's go back out here. Try and avoid Pokemon. Try not to get trolled by a grapple off again. Or oh, there's something down here. This looks like a cool place to explore. Uh, there are a bunch of Pokemon over in this direction. A bunch of Pokemon jumping around. There was. I oh, don't care about you. Oh, it's a Manatee. 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 
cool Pokemon. It's a cool Pokemon. Let us uh, go ahead and use Psychic on it. Not sure how effective it's going to be. She's in bounce. I kind of don't want to be. I, I, I don't. I don't want to be here anymore. I just want to get out of the way. I want. I want to run away. I. I, I don't want to. I don't want to fight this man. I don't want to fight it. Please let me run away. Thank you. I'm getting way too frustrated in this area right now. I kind of just want to get out of the water. I'm gonna go over here because I saw an item. It looks like a TM. What TM is it gonna be? Rock slide. Could be good for Dreadnought to learn. I think I want to teach Dreadnought how to um, how to dive as well. So that might be good. Because it only knows one water type move at the moment. Right, we're, uh, we are off of the water area for now. Maybe I'll come back at some point. What is that? I don't know what that rock is. Let's go check it out. A wild bergmite. Hmm. Not heard of this Pokemon before. Let's go ahead and use Psychic on it. Oh, we killed it. Cool. Berg might evolves into Avalug. That looks like a cool Pokemon, an Ice type. Okay. Mm, fair enough. So I'm just doing a bit of research on what Pokemon it evolves into. It's like I say, I've not seen a Pokemon before. I want to try and avoid as much wild battles as possible because it's just annoying me. You know, that that whole me trying to get that octopus really annoyed me. And I know I could just catch one of these octopus Pokemon and just evolve it, but that's not how I do. I, I want to catch that Graphalox, and I'm going to catch it. I swear I'm going to catch it at some point. Maybe not on today's stream, but at some point, I'm going to go back to this area and I'm going to catch myself a Graphalox. Even if it, you know, even if it kills me, I'll be here all day trying to catch that Graphalox. I just don't have all day at the moment. Probably only going to be streaming until maybe around 8 o'clock. So, so maybe a slightly shorter one. Toxicity and whatever that one is. Oh, I've forgotten what it's called. Maractus. So let us use Struggle Bug on both of them. And then Incinerate on both of them. Why not? Why not? Your special attack went down, and so did yours, that's fine, all good. Better shock. Not gonna be super effective against that, is it? No. Giga Drain, not gonna be super effective against that either. Hmm. Interesting choice of moves there from these guys. Okay, Miraculous is down. One out of two, I don't know if they've got any more Pokemon. Maybe they do. Okay, they don't. So let us just go ahead and use Confusion on Toxicity. And let's actually try out Heat Crash. Why not? Let's see how much damage we have to do to ourselves in order to use Heat Crash. Or maybe not. We're not going to find out because Toxicity or Tox Toxtricity is uh, dead. So we're not going to find out. Good amount of XP for everyone there. Music crew, Owen. Sorry about that, mate. If Pokemon moves are mixed in too, we'll have an amazing vibe. Dancing is the best way to stay healthy. Uh, I disagree. I don't dance. But then I go, ah, I suppose I'm not that healthy, so... Maybe she's got a point. Maybe I should do some more dancing. I can dance, but not that well. I feel like a lot of people could, you know... Everyone can dance, but just not that great. Why did I shake it again? Oh, go on. I'll get really frustrated today. I don't want to deal with you. Please let me run away. Thank you. I don't want to have to deal with you stupid fat squirrel. Is that way? I think that way is the spike move. There seems to be something going on over here though. Ooh, what is this place? It looks like an old abandoned warehouse. I can't enter spike move, so I've just been hanging out, hanging around here this whole time. 
no one can challenge a dark type leader like this. What's with the gate being shut? How am I supposed to get the gym badge now? Ha, huh. hey Jack. Oh, Marnie's over there. What's up, Marnie? What is that thing? It's one of those jellyfish Pokemon, isn't it? Uh, that looks so derpy. It looks so derpy, it's gonna come and attack me. I'm gonna go and attack it. Why not? While we're here. Jellison. That's a ghost water type or something? I don't know. I don't know what it is. It looks cool though. That's not a ghost type. Definitely isn't a ghost type. He's gonna recover. It's gonna frustrate the hell out of me. He just keeps doing that. I'm just gonna run away. I can't walk again. The whole, the whole um, grapple lock situation has really put me in a annoyed kind of mood right now. Hello, Marnie. What's going on? I was born here, so I know I know another way in. If you want to get into the town, how about I show you the way? We're my rivals, so you'll have to beat me in a battle first. Got it? But let me think about it first. Yes, please let me get ready. I need. Is there a Pokemon gym that I can go to? No, stop chasing after me, wild Pokemon, please. I don't have time for this. I want to battle Marnie and then hopefully get into this, uh, get into Spike Move because, yeah, the gates are shut and no one else can get in. So I kind of want to get in. Let us, let us swap up our party a little bit. Let's put Rillaboom in as the first Pokemon. Why not? Let's go all guns blazing against Marnie with our starter type. All right, Marnie, let's go. I have to battle you first. Oh, here come Team Yell. What the hell? Had a pretty good win streak in the gym challenge, just like me. I respect you as my rival and all that. But I got too much at stake to go around losing now. It's true. I think we've both got too much at stake. I mean, we did beat you the first time. The first and only time we fought against you, we did beat you. A Lipard. Okay. I don't feel like anyone's going to have the upper hand in this matchup. Alright, you're going to beat me to the ground. Let's see it then. Let's see it. Let's use Wood Hammer. What is that doing? SP Attack Rose. Whoa, what an animation that is. What an animation that is. That is cool. Kill the Lipard in one hit. Take quite a bit of damage in the recoil. Not great, not great. Send out a toxic croak. Switch Pokemon. What move was it? That was super effective against the poison type. Bug type was it? I can't remember. I can't remember what, what move it was. Let's go ahead and put Orbital in anyway. Maybe it was this. Maybe it was struggle bug and it was super effective. I don't know. I'm not too sure. Toxic Broke is a cool Pokemon though. Uh, let's just go ahead and confuse you. Using Sucker Punch. What's going to kill me? Yeah, that's annoying. Oh, but Confusion kills Toxic Croak. Let's go. I think it's a fighting type as well, so that, that's maybe why it was super effective. Rillaboom and Grim Snow, both up to level 47. Look at that, all of our party for the first time, all on the same level, I believe, all on level 47. Who are you going to send out next? Scrafty is a grounded type. So maybe Dreadnought might be good. I think it's a ground type. Don't quote me on that. Pokemon I'm thinking of. Yeah, I think this is a ground type. Let's go ahead and water gun it. Okay, it's not a ground type. I feel like I just learned that. It looks like a ground type to me. It might be a fighting type. Maybe. Again, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just trying to guess at this moment in time. But yeah, okay, so use Brick Break is a fighting type. I mean, this isn't going to be that effective, is it? Nope, oh, I knew it. I knew it. Alright. 
that ask then. Bring in the big guns. Come on, Corviknight. You can do it. So annoying. I need to learn my matchups a bit more. Oh, I just need to learn types of opposing Pokemon. It's not so much about matchups, but I know my matchups pretty well, which is I don't know the types of opposing Pokemon that I come up against. So, Drafty is down. Must have been a fighting type. Ooh, Corviknight, Colossal, Dreadnought, and all these are really very close to leveling up. More Peko is a electric dark type. I think. I think it is. So, we're going to be bad in there. Let's go ahead and send out Colossal. As expected of my rival, you really know how to heal it up. Is that what she said? I don't know. Don't get to read it in time. You know how to get me wild up. She said. Uh, let's go ahead and use Heat Crash. I think Heat Crash. What? What, what special move? Spark. Spark. Your, your special move is Spark. All that you've done there is get your more Peko burn, and now you're gonna let it die. That, that's all that you've achieved there, Marnie. Can you not see that? Going into its hangry mode. Let's just use Smackdown on it. Oh, she's in the Hyper Potion. Okay. Okay. Doesn't heal its burn, though. Does not heal its burn. It's good for us. It also means we can maybe go into it with a Heat Crash again, and it'll be fine. And we'll win. And we will finally be able to make our way into Spike Beam. If it doesn't want to heal up again. Spark, not that great. We've been paralyzed, but please, there we go. It's fine, it's fine. And bye bye, more Peko. Thank you very much, Marnie. It's been nice knowing you. Oh, look at that. Colossal Corviknight. First to level 48 here. There we go. Defeated Pokemon trainer Marnie. What's with that? My Pokemon didn't get a chance to really do their thing at all. Oh. Don't worry, sorry about that, Marnie. My partner, Morpeko, has been interested in you and your strength, and I think I'll get it now. But I've got everyone in Spike Moon supporting me. I'm definitely going to get all eight gym badges just so I can have a rematch with you. Don't you forget it. I'll get my revenge in the Champion Cup. Anyway, I promise I'll show you a way in, so follow me. Yes. Finally, guys. We finally made it to Spike Move. Ooh. This looks like a shady town. This looks like a beat up town. Look at this. It's like a bad, bad part of London. That's what this looks like. Glad that there's a Pokemon Center right in front of us. So we can go and quickly heal up our Pokemon because, yeah, Route 9 was a bit frustrating. Obviously, we had the whole Grappalocked saga. Her trying to catch a Grappalocked and then. Just being trolled by the game by having us actually go up against the trainer with a grapple lock. Yeah, we also need to restock on some potions as well. Um, so, let's go ahead and just stock up again. Ultra Balls are there. I feel like I'm going to leave the whole grapple lock situation for now. Maybe, like I say, come back and visit it at a later date, but it frustrated me to all hell. So, I feel like I'm just going to leave it for now. Go ahead and get some more potions, and then we need a revive. We need some more revives. We currently don't have a lot left. There we go. I feel like that's all we need. Um, let's go and head back outside. I don't know what kind of uh, kind of exploring we can do here. Marnie's here. If the shutter closed, nobody's going to be able to challenge the gym. I got to look into this. Yeah, you do. I just happen to have too many of these, so I'll give you one. Got it? You can handle yourself. Right, Piers' league cards. Okay. Oi, welcome to Spike Move, kid. Hope you're ready for the gym mission. Hold on, mate. If you're going to take on the gym mission, you'd better change into your uniform. If you're looking for the gym leader, he's straight ahead from here. Yeah, I do want to retire because I don't want to actually go up against the gym in this episode. I want to save the gym until the next episode. Okay, this is a bit weird though, this whole concept with 
There isn't actually a stadium? Huh. Okay. Well, like I say, guys, we're going to end the stream here. A bit shorter than some of our other Pokemon live streams, but we've made it to Spike Move City. We've made it through Route 9. Unfortunately, we are not here with a grapple locked, but yeah, we have some good fun trying to catch it. And like I say, guys, we're definitely going to have to try and catch it again at some point in the future because it seems like a cool Pokemon and it's certainly something that I feel like will give me an addition and a boost to my team. We don't have a fighting type as of yet and I'm looking to get rid of Dreadnought. So maybe that's the Pokemon we can go after uh, in, in a couple of uh, episodes time. So yeah, like I say guys, it's been a pleasure. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out and watching us play some more Pokemon. But like I say, I'm going to leave it here. I'm actually going to save just before I end the stream just to make sure that I've saved it. Let's just save our progress. Here we go. All right. So, like I say, guys, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for coming and hanging out. Um, and I will see you guys later.